Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, Pilot Fund 101, and my name is Chris Lee. So I've been on YouTube now about a year and a half or so, about a video a week, uh, maybe a little less than that, uh, maybe a year and a couple months. Um, so, but I've been getting a lot of emails on how I did it, uh, what inspired me to get involved in aviation, how did I do it. Um, I get, you know, some people have some issues with family, some issues with fundings and how did I get through it and what did I do? Well, so I decided instead of getting back um, to individuals, you know, uh, one at a time, one at a time, I decided to do a video um, about my experience and my love story for aviation. And it, let me tell you folks, it really is a love story because um, it's an awesome experience um, and it's a great time. So, you know, so some things might get a little personal um, on, on my behalf uh, and some fun stuff and so um, just bear along if, if you could uh, but as a child you know how many times we see airplanes flying in the air you know when you're this big and you're like wow that's really cool sometimes I see them high up sometimes you see them low um, sometimes you see them so high you see the smoke coming out of the exhaust and it's really cool and I used to call them flying cars I said wow that how does how do these things get in the air um, so when I was a young, young, a young uh, boy at the time, you know, I asked my father to go to the, uh, the smaller airports and hang out. I used to hang out at airports, get dropped off at our local airport, um, at Easton Airport. You know, you're talking a long time ago. Uh, and I just loved it. I think it was really cool, um, sweeping out some hangars, doing what I had to do, uh, just looking around, you know, exploring airports and sometimes finding things like you know that was you know uh, that was really cool actually in older older planes uh, you know and never really uh, got involved into what really any other airports uh, but did travel and and did and locally traveled and did stop by other airports and checked out planes that are some that are riding uh, you know tied down which they still are to the day and some really cool planes and I went to you know air shows you know it was just awesome how these things how these flying cars would just fly um, so, you know, I've, I've gotten involved in it, and I've gotten involved in it, and, you know, unfortunately, you know, uh, my mother was involved in an accident uh, when I was about two, three years old, and, you know, she acts like um, a six-year-old would kind of act, and um, so that was okay, you know, uh, she was taken care of, my father was taking care of her, and then, um, unfortunately, when I was 18 years old, uh, my father found out he had cancer. And um, my father died within about a month, month and a half that he had it. And that was a killer for me, um, for obvious reasons. So uh, um, thank goodness, so I, I kind of fell off the track of aviation a little bit, um, actually a lot of bit, and uh, figuring out how I'm gonna go to college, how am I gonna pay for college, what am I gonna do? Um, my great, awesome grandmother, uh, she basically took over and lived with her and, uh, my, and my mother moved in obviously and we took care of some things and um, we, got, we got through it, um, but going to college, you know, I've had multiple jobs, sometimes working 60 hours a week and then plus going to college full time. Uh, it was a lot of work. <laughs> You know, my sleeping time, we were probably saying, well, how do you sleep? My sleeping time was basically in my midnight shift, um, you know, working and sleeping that time, basically a couple hours a night. Uh, so um, I did go to college. I did pay, did have the jobs that I had to do. I had a lot of support from my grandmother. And, um, you know, she was pushing me to go back into flying and pushing and pushing and pushing. But I was discouraged. I was depressed, you know, um, but we got through it. And so, you know, I decided to, you know, I was driving past Orange County Airport, um, and I saw how nice this airport was. I saw planes tied down, I pulled in. And of course, I talked to some pilots, and you know how pilots are, hey, let's, let's go flying. You wanna go flying? Well, of course. Uh, but ever since then, 
that flight, I'm like, I have to, have to fulfill my childhood dream to be a pilot and inspire me to do it. And I was focused. I was, I was figuring out how I'm going to pay for stuff. You know, through other pilots, I've gotten help. Um, a third party instructor. I worked with him. A great, great instructor. Uh, you know, knew about aviation. You know, like, like, like nothing. He was really good at it. And the book work was the cheapest of it all. Um, and I get those questions. And the book work is cheap because you can go to King Schools and download their program. It's like four hundred whatever dollars it is these days. And uh, you can get through that book work. The most expensive book work, uh, the most expensive part about aviation is getting in the airplane uh, with an instructor and flying. So I've done that. I pushed and I pushed and I pushed to do all this and fulfill my dream. And my grandmother pushed me. And I finally, finally fulfilled my childhood dream and got my license and was very, very happy. Uh, and proud of myself and my grandmother for pushing me to do it and you know even my father bringing me to airports and, and having a good time which which again is still fresh in my mind and you know it was still difficult because my grandmother was getting older and I had to take care of a lot of family affairs uh, and, and still trying to fly and do what I had to do because it was a passion of mine um, you know long story short uh, my grandmother got started to get Alzheimer's dementia and <clears throat> that was again a very difficult time for me to, to go through that process because I also have to take care of my mother at the time um, so unfortunately what, what I had to do was I had to uh, put my grandmother in a nursing home and uh, my mom went into a group home and it's, it's she's happy she's fine uh, but over course of a month or two, my grandmother's health was with dementia, um, Alzheimer's settling in. She was forgetting where she was. She was wandering. Um, you know, a, a bunch of times I went and visit her, and she didn't know who I was. And um, uh, that's a very difficult time to um, have somebody who who pushed you and pushed you you know, um, push you through college, you can do it, you can do it, who can't remember who you are. And it was very difficult for me to go through that process. Um, and I knew I had to get her in the air with me as quickly as possible um, because her health was deteriorating. And so that's what I did. I, I got in the Grumman out of Orange County, flew down to Braden Air Park, and I'm going to put some pictures up right now for you guys to look at. I had the Phillipsburg Emergency Squad, who I've been volunteering at for now 20 years, to transport her from the nursing home to Braden Air Park. And I took her flying, and she had a great time. Um, never, for, I never, I will never forget that that moment. Um, so, and, and unfortunately, uh, six, six seven months goes by. Uh, and she does pass away, um, and God rest her soul, I love her to death, uh, and she was a great, great person uh, to step up and take care of what needed to be taken care of, um, and I love her to death. But the point of this video um, is that everybody goes through hard times in life. Uh, you know, the good times you embrace, you have a great time, the bad times you have to get through it, and uh, whatever your dream might be, live your dream, live a great life, help others, do what you have to do. If you have to get two, three jobs, you have to get two, three jobs. And you'll get through it. And I went through a lot of phases in life at a young age, as I just talked about, pretty rapidly. But I've always was pushed, and I've always knew I had to get this done and get my, my childhood dream taken care of. And aviation was it. That's what it was, and I enjoy every moment of my aviation love story because it's a love story. It started when I was a kid. It started through hard times with my father. It started through hard times uh, with my grandmother, and it ended with great times with my grandmother by taking her flying, and then obviously pilots. You know, we all have good times and bad days and good days. 
you know, we'll cry together. Uh, we'll we'll have great times together. We'll go through it. It's a small family aviation, and I enjoy it. And that's why I call it my dream. I call it my love story because it is a love story. Every time you go up, you just love more and more about it. Um, and and to this day, um, when I go flying, I think about my grandmother, my father. I think about all the things I had to do and uh, give up um, so I could get this license and move forward with my dream. And to this day, I still can't believe that I'm flying. You know, I, I still can't believe that I'm flying. I, I'll go up and I'll just, this is great. This is great. You know, you have a, we have a beautiful country, the United States, uh, so much to see and explore. Um, and we have the opportunity to fly anywhere we want to fly in the United States. Uh, and it's an awesome experience. And the love story continues. And it continues. You find more friends. You find more people, you know, uh, that you can take up. Uh, you help other people in the aviation family. It's a good feeling. Um, and this is this is video is all about. I, 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 I want you guys to know that are watching this video um, that anybody could do it. And anybody has, everybody has their own dream, and anybody can do it, whatever their dream might be. And they, they might not be aviation. Um, and I get emails and I get some um, comments on my videos that I'm not an aviator, but I love the videos. It's great that you're trying to inspire people. You know, great videos. Um, it's, it's really cool experience in the air. Um, but I just like watching. I don't want to get involved with it. So it's good to get to those people too. But whether it's aviation, whether you're trying to... Um, you know, uh, uh, pay for college, whether you're trying to um, buy a new car or your, 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 your BMW, your Mercedes, your, your Corvette, whatever it might be that you're trying to get because you worked hard for it. Work hard, and at the end of the day, you'll get what you deserve and it will be paid off in the long run. So, folks, again, everybody goes through a hard time. You can get through it, um, and at the end of the day, you will have a great life and push on and push on. So if anybody has any comments, you can please email me. You can email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. And you can follow me on Facebook also. I have over 10,000 um, followers on Facebook now. And also like what I'm doing, folks, subscribe to my channel. That inspires me to keep these videos going. Um, I don't make any money. But it keeps it going for me. It makes me want to do it more because it is a lot of work to get the videos going. I mean, I would appreciate that. But like always, folks, fly safe, be safe. Until next time, see ya.